so that the constructions of Karnak Temple ended already by his predecessor, King Ramesses II, especially that the pylons of Ramesses were there, and the two rows of or the avenue of rams that led from the pylon all the way to the gate were there. And also, King Seti II already constructed his chapels on the other side, out of the pylons. So Ramses III decided to build his chapel here, or his temple, opposite to King Seti II chapels on the sacred land, Ebitsut of Karnak Temple. King Ramses III must have believed that the general plan of Karnak Temple had ended by the construction of the second pylon with the avenue of rams that forms an entrance in front of it, especially that King Seti II had already built three chapels to the sacred shrine of the temple with a dedicatory inscription saying, in front of Ibitsu Temple. So, King Ramses III preferred to construct his temple in the south, in front of Ibitsu too. In that occasion, he said, it's built in a great sacred place on a sacred land in front of Ibitsut. He never knew that his temple was destined to be embodied in successive additions to the great temple. In spite of that, it composes a constructional unit with clear features. The temple of King Ramesses III is a living prototype of the God's temples in the New Kingdom. The vestibule has four columns that take the shape of the papyrus. In its southern wall, there is another entrance that leads to the hypostyle hall. This whole ceiling rests on eight columns placed in two rows. The scenes show the king in the presence of gods and goddesses. Performing the act of purification and several other rituals, at the end of the temple, there are three sanctuaries. The one in the middle is dedicated to the vote of Amon. On its right is the one consecrated to his son Khunso, and the one on the left to his wife Goddess Mut. In spite of the small size of the temple, which is 52 meters long, yet it's distinguished with the original simple characteristics of the Egyptian temple at the end of the New Kingdom. This simplicity enabled Egyptologists to apply successful studies on the construction of the ancient Egyptian temple.